Hello everyone, it's just Banana here, and welcome to the start of my journey about learning how to draw portraits. This video will cover my first 7 days of learning how to draw portraits, and uh, maybe a little more than that. <coughs> Anyways, throughout the video I will be giving out a couple of tips from things I've learned, and in the end I will critique my first portrait and give myself some feedback, which might prove useful for you. And with that out of the way, hope you will all enjoy this video and maybe learn something new from it. So let's get into it, shall we? Oh, and if you're interested in where I'm finding all these exercises and references, uh, they come from the Doodle Warrior course. Uh, if you're interested, I will be leaving a link down in the description below. It is a course that teaches you how to draw portraits, which is what I'm doing right now. So if that kind of interests you to learn how to draw portraits, I will leave a link down below and uh, see you there. So as you can see, in the first couple of days, I did a couple of perspective exercises that include boxing uh, the head in various uh, rotation and angles. I feel like the most important thing is to understand where the horizon line is and understand that the lines will have different angles depending on their distance and uh, relativity to the horizon line. Just try to make the head look like a box and not like a trapeze thing that kind of tapers at the back of the head. Uh, I had this problem as you can see in some of the studies that I did and uh, yeah just try to make it as boxy as you can. So after they did all of those boxes, it was time to move up to the real exercise of lesson one, which is the laying of the head. This is the real meat and potatoes of lesson one. It's getting to see the 3D form of the head by using the laying method taught in the Doodle Warriors course. So for this exercise, I have my reference in the middle, I have my tracing on the left, and I have my freehand on the right. So for the tracing part, it's really important to get all the angles and lines to be as good as possible since afterwards when I'm going to be doing the freehand, I'm going to be comparing not only the reference but also the tracing that I did to give myself a bit of guidance as to the angles and the length which my lines should have. Really important for this part and for the freehand part is to not have any distractions so if you don't want to be listening to any music or audiobooks, be focused on the laying process itself. It is really important that you're going to be learning the 3D form of the head and not distracted by any sort of music or other things like that.
Moving on to the freehand part, let me tell you straight up, this is hard, especially for the first time doing this. The most important tip that I can give you is to constantly measure the angles of the lines and their length. You can do this with a couple of ways. Personally, I like to use the stylus. I put it up to my screen and measure the angles. Obviously, there are more methods of measuring angles and proportions, such as the guidelines that you can see me flicking on and off. These are the vertical guidelines, the green ones. And also, this is uh, probably the best one to measure, is to take the lane and put it directly on top of the reference. Uh, do note that this way you're not training your eye, but you are training your hand to fix the mistakes. A better way to measure is by using your own eye. Try to guess the right angle, then measure it and fix it as needed. This way both your eye and hand get trained with fixing the mistakes and you will also become better at guessing the correct angle in the future so you won't have to constantly use the guidelines and other help uh, to measure your angles. Other than that, the only tip that I can give you is to just keep going. This lane took me so long to complete, maybe even a little bit too long, but yeah, you have to be consistent, you have to keep working and well, I can't promise you will see results, but that's what I've been told, so take it or leave it, I guess. Before I move on to the critique part, I want to encourage you guys, if there's anything that I've missed, any tips you'd like to give or anything you have to add, be sure to do so in the comments below. I will try to read every comment that I can that you guys send, so be sure to send one in the comments. So as I promised in the beginning, this will be uh, my critique of uh, the lane. So let's start. The first thing that I'm seeing that is wrong 
uh, in the lane is the amount of time it took me uh, which took a long time plus uh, it took a lot of days because I didn't really work on it for um, one hour or two hours every day there were a couple of days that I missed so yeah just make sure that you're taking your time but not taking your time too much so that's the first thing that uh, I will kind of have um, the second thing is that this thing right here the background needs to be white okay um, it doesn't it's not like too important but it is important to uh, remember that because that is you know I know uh, Angel does really uh, does really mind when you do that so um, yeah just make sure that that is uh, white other than that let's see in terms of the actual uh, freehand uh, lay-in I can already see um, this this part right here the chin is a little bit too curved right this the chin and the, the jaw is a little bit too curved they need to be a little bit more straight if we compare them to uh, this one I think the main problem that I had like with doing that was because the jaw here looks kind of curved and the you know the it looks kind of curved but realistically I shouldn't really draw it this curved it needs to be a little bit more subtle I mean there is a little curve don't get me wrong but it's definitely a little bit too much curved so just to pay attention to that next time to do them a little bit less kind of curvy because right now it looks like like this thing is happening when they should be a little bit you know kind of separate um, another thing that I can see is the eye level like the eyes kind of don't match right if we go like from here to here it's a little different right it's a little too low here and it kind of makes the eyes look a little weird I can also see a little bit of I mean the left eye is a little bit bigger than the right eye which should happen but I'm not so sure about the actual difference I think the difference is a little bit too big on the size of them but that could just be me uh, another weird thing is that this connection here is kind of weird. I should look into that, right? So we have this one going like this and this one going like this. Right, so they do look a little similar in terms of the angle. Maybe this one is actually a little bit, you see like there's a little bit of a difference here that I'm seeing that might cause this uh, weird thing because this should all in theory be connecting right to each other so the fact that it isn't is kind of uh, means that there's a little bit of a problem somewhere uh, other than that I mean the ear is kind of nice I kind of like it Mm hmm maybe a little bit of a weird thing right here because this is like going up and then to the side and this one is going a little up and then straight so there's needs to be a little bit more straight and then the curve right instead of what I did which was like like a little to the left even and then curving up this one is a little bit less angled and more upwards and then it goes uh, and then it goes round so something like this maybe 
Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing something here. Maybe. Mm, it look kind of looks like he has like a thing, and then it starts going down. Right. And then it starts going down, and here there isn't. It's just like a straight line kind of thing. So maybe we do need to see what that is, and that is kind of here, right? So let's see. It's a little bit lower than this. So it's to be kind of here, and then right. So see, like right now, I'm just kind of using the guidelines to measure, which is something um, that you can do, right? I'm just kind of measuring after the freehand itself so i'm just kind of seeing the mistakes i'm not actually going to fix them because i've kind of completed the drawing already so i'm not going to fix them i'm just going to see what i can do what i could have done right so we have this and then this one i can see that it's going too deep you see there's like too much of a of a gap here between the skull and where and the uh, eyebrow right it's too much of a difference and there's too little of a difference right here if you guys can see there's too little of a difference right here whereas here there's a lot there's like a big gap and here there's like a really small gap between that Right, so there's like this, and I mean, it kind of looks like it's there's a thing, but I think if you're just drawing like this, it's a little bit better, right? But this one is all too like curved, right? As opposed to this one, which is just kind of, we're just kind of slow, and this one is like too curved as opposed to the actual reference. So that's something to keep in mind. Other than that, you know, we got the eyebrows, like the eyebrows, the eyebrows are very slightly curved, like you can see definitely from the straight line, there's a little bit of a difference here and here. Um, right, so let's see how I did it. See, there's like, like, see, you can immediately see with the straight line, too much of a curve, right, too much of an angle. Right, their angle too far down. Right, so that is something to keep in mind. And they might be even be more angled than, like, than the forehead, which is even worse because technically the forehead should be the most angled, and then this one should be less, and then this should be like the middle somehow, the middle something, right, and then it should start. You know going up and up and up right since we're getting further away from the horizon line from the horizon uh, from the vanishing point so the ones that are further away will be angled more than the ones that are closer to the uh, horizon line so that is something to keep in mind definitely not only the uh, eyebrow but also like the order of angles here which was a little bit messed up um the 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 this the nose you can already see like this line is pretty long this line is very short and not angled as much right so this one is like going to the the line i think because this one is a little bit lower and it should be like here ish right so then that's also what kind of caused this issue with the nose a little bit right here maybe even like it should be like here ish right so again we can i can move the free hand on top of the lane of the reference itself but i just kind of want to see for myself what i could do better right so one more thing before we move down to like the bottom part uh this one is sitting a little bit in the middle and obviously there's a little bit of foreshortening here so so we're going to be seeing more of this and less of this a little bit 
but here it's like kind of even the opposite see like there's not that much all right like this this spot is even lower less than this so that is something to keep in mind right this this uh this oval should be in the middle of the uh of the eye you know eye eyebrow thing so that is something to keep in mind where it's a little bit too on the too much on the left right here and too much on the right you know right here so it should be a little bit more on the sides okay mm, so moving down right this one is like i mean in terms of the nose there's a little bit okay, so it's not like straight down right there's, there's a little bit of a thing here a little bit of an angle but i wouldn't say it's like too too much of an angle right which i mean definitely we can see that there's too much of an angle right here all right so there's a lot of there's a lot of little things that kind of just add up to make the the final thing look a lot more polished definitely is what i'm thinking right so this one we can see we're gonna see like this kind of thing happening right something like that so here it's a lot less right we can we expect like this right right here we expect like this but maybe we're just getting this which is kind of like a front view when we're in a little bit of a in a blue a little bit of a three quarters but it's like more four fifths kind of view so that is definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, other than that, I am pretty sure that these that the mouth circle should be touching the uh, the cheeks. So yeah, that is something to keep in mind. I mean, primarily I kind of just looked at this and saw there's a gap, but I'm pretty sure that they should be touching. So that is something to keep in mind. Um. Other than that, the chin circle, I mean the chin circle, I know it should be overlapping. Alright, it should be overlapping. Alright. But I don't know if it's like too much of an overlap. Or maybe I'm just not drawing it as good right now. Hmm. So like maybe a little bit less, a bit a little bit lower, but overall I think it's fine. And in terms of this second circle, I mean, from this side, obviously we're going to be seeing a lot of uh, foreshortening, so we're not going to be having the same distance all around right i mean which i did actually do i um, a little bit of the same distance all around but like this part here is going to be a lot closer right but here i think we should be seeing the same distance and for the most part, I think it is the same distance. No, actually not. That I'm, now that I'm taking my my stylus, putting it up onto the screen, I can definitely see there's a little bit of of, uh, of a difference, right? If we 
go right here. And then we go like right here. Carefully see that like now it's the the thing is touching, but here if I go from here, see that it's not. Right, so it's a little bit a little bit inconsistent right here. Uh, in terms of the neck, I did work a lot on the neck, so I think it looks pretty good. Um, maybe here a little bit, right? Because here there's, there's a little bit of a gap between the uh, where the neck connects, the chin, and a little bit of the chin, and then there's the, the jaw here I mean it, it does exist right also like the angles should be a little bit again I kind of drew him as a chubby kind of thing but it needs to be the angles needs to be a little bit more pronounced right um so that is pretty much for proportions and for now for line weight it's definitely a lot of room for improvement i mean we can definitely see a lot of fluctuations between line weight um not including this one obviously um right like this here is like pretty good ish i would say but then we have places where there's like I mean, like the the eye, for example, there's line weight is very different in terms of you know from like the cheeks are fine, but then we have like this one, which like the neck, which I should have probably gotten a little bit better, right? Like here, this is like very dark, and then it's kind of like weird, inconsistent. I mean the the circles themselves need to be a little bit a little bit better, but circles are always a pain in the ass. A little bit more cleaning, a little bit more erasing, right? All around, a little bit more polish. Should have put a little bit more polish, like in the lips. You can see like there's a lot of weird lines, weird kind of things that I should have removed. Right? They should have erased. Like like right here in the connection here in the in the nose, right? There's like this weird thing. There's a lot of like these weird kind of artifacts from previous lines that I should have probably drawn a little bit uh, a little bit lighter, and I also should have taken a little bit more time to clean them up. But I mean, yeah, that, that would be pretty much it for the critique. Um, if you guys have anything to add, or if you have um, anything that you want to say in the comments, make sure to leave a comment down below. And uh, that will be it for this video and for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and uh, subscribe if you want. It helps out a lot. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. So, see ya.